might be taking this idea from the odd ones out, but we're cool, right? Alright, anyway, board games. And uh, my luck is terrible. I don't know why, but it's really bad because my mom, for some odd reason, wore my socks while me, my brother, and my dad were playing Monopoly Junior. She joined in, and she didn't even make it around the board. But she was wearing my socks, so I think this means I have the worst luck ever in board games. My mom has bad luck and sorry. She usually does really good in the early game, then it just goes downhill for in the end, leading her to getting last place. But one game all of us play together is a game of Can't Catch Harry. The game starts as we pass the cards, till I get three devils in an everyone card. Now, in Can't Catch Harry, you're supposed to get four of a kind, and an everyone card adds a free card to try and get four of a kind. Four devil cards resets everyone's points, so I had three points and the rest of my family had zero. Then, I got another four of a kind of devils, so that put my count to two, and everyone else to zero. Later in the game, my mom was getting slightly competitive. It, it, she was acting like she needed to win because in all the board games we played before, she would get last. In the end, she got third, so at least she wasn't last. So, we all know Monopoly, right? I love Monopoly. I play it a lot with my cousins. It's really hard to win if you have five players playing the game. If you have more than three players playing Monopoly for me, I might as well give up on the first roll. What are you doing? I'm recording! <clears throat> I might as well give up on the first roll, because one game, there are four players, including me, playing Monopoly, and all of us had to pay 200 Monopoly dollars to the middle because of income tax. Fun fact, I used to be a sore loser when it comes to board games. Every time someone did something that made me feel like I'd lose, I'd lie in a fetal position and cry. Okay, not really, but I would get really mad. When I stopped throwing a fit in board games, my brother started doing the same thing, but it wasn't as bad as me. He would get mad, then quit, without getting on the floor. He'd just go to his room for five minutes, then come back wanting to play again. My dad, for some reason, uses a Donald Trump voice each time we play Monopoly. The first game of Monopoly I played with my dad, he started using his Donald Trump voice, and he talks about people enjoying their stay at his hotels when you land on them. It's pretty funny when you play with him. Whenever I don't bring Monopoly, my cousin says, You had one job! And I say, I'm sorry, I forgot. Cut me some slack, okay? Now, this is a funny story in Connect 4. And some of you might think, Connect 4 isn't a board game. And I say, You're right, but this is pretty funny. I was playing against my mom. My brother and my dad wanted to beat my mom a lot. All the pressure was on me, so I put the Connect 4 piece in the slot and I said, Yes! I WIN! But there was only three there. It was probably the most funniest thing I've ever done in my life. Everybody was laughing at me. It made me seem like an idiot. Which I probably it was. This story was with my dad and my brother playing Battleship, and everything my dad called was a miss because my brother decided not to tell if it was a hit because he just wanted to win! Eventually, my dad figured out that he was cheating because he was going in a grid pattern in the game he realized that no other ship could be on the map, so it was pretty funny when it happened. I only saw the aftermath, but they told me what happened after. Apparently, two of my cousins, they were brother and sister. If there were three players playing Monopoly, the brother used to team with a third person, but then betray them once that third person was poor. And I personally think, well, that's cruel. I'm pretty sure he tried to do that to me once, but his sister won that game, and thankfully I didn't get betrayed. But the sister was telling me not to team with him. I still have no reason to think he would take advantage of me and him teaming. Also, what he did while we played Monopoly is kind of weird stuff. I'm not going to go too in depth, but he did stuff like get out of his chair, start doing a weird dance every two minutes. We laughed that entire game, mostly because of him, but sometimes his dances were pretty weird. In Monopoly, we take breaks in between to have a snack, but I had an ice cream steak, and there was chocolate surrounding it. I ate the chocolate around it, and all that was left, and all that was left was ice cream on my face. That was the most chocolatey face you have ever seen. I was covered in chocolate. Everybody was laughing at me. AGAIN! So it made me look like an idiot. Again. Why do I do these things? <sighs> Those were a lot of stories that I had playing board games. They were really fun when I played them with my family, and I still do. I wonder if I'm really an expert at board games, or I'm just starting to get good. Well, I did win a Monopoly game yesterday with, like, three people in it. Well, like I said, I can only do three people, but never four. I'll try not to take too long when uploading my videos, it's just the animation part that takes the longest to do.
when someone barged into the room that actually happened. I was recording and someone came into the room and I had no idea. Well, this is Van with Chris and I hope you have a nice day. Or night. Whichever one.